Every year, Christians celebrate Maundy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday. The question naturally arises, what happened on Saturday? Did Jesus just lay there in the tomb and rest for a day? Did he ascend into heaven and talk with his Father and the angels? Did he preach the gospel in the realm of the dead? According to a phrase in the Apostles' Creed, after Christ was crucified, dead, and buried, and before he rose again from the dead on the third day, he descended into hell. Images from the ancient church provide an answer to what the early Christians believed that phrase meant. Those images picture Jesus standing on the broken doors of hell, which have fallen in the shape of a cross, to show that by his death, Jesus defeated death and hell. He holds Adam and Eve by their wrists and is pulling them up out of hell to illustrate that on its own, mankind is unable to defeat sin and death. Salvation comes only by the work of God through Christ. Under the doors, hell is pictured as a chasm of darkness with broken locks and chains strewn about. Jesus told his disciples that the gates of hell would not prevail against his church. Gates are defensive structures. The imagery is of a Christian church on the offense attacking the gates of hell and bringing release to those held captive by it. These early Christians believed that Jesus Christ succeeded in his mission to seek and save what was lost. For them, hell was real, but it didn't last forever. Why? Because God's love is unconditional. His power is irresistible and he never gives up. As we celebrate the most important event in the history of the world, the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, let's not forget that the doors of death and hell have been broken. Jesus Christ is the victor who defeats all his enemies and sets the captives free. If these early Christians were right, maybe heaven's doors really are wider than you ever believed. Happy Easter.